discussion chaffed. Nitrogen dioxide, NO2, exists in the equilibrium with uh, dinitrogen tetraoxide, N2O4. And the uh, enthalpy change is negative 57 kJ per mole, so it's exothermic. And the reaction or the equilibrium is 2 mole of NO2 okay, to form 1 mole of N2O4. So it's 2 mole to 1 mole at equilibrium. Okay, so which condition give the greatest percentage of N2O4, the products, okay, at equilibrium? So means what will be the change that we can do to make sure N2O4 will get uh, greater percentage? Okay, so first, pressure. So we know that when we increase the pressure, the equilibrium try to reduce it. So how to reduce pressure? by forming lesser moles so we know that left hand side is two mole okay right hand side is one mole so therefore equilibrium will shift from left to right to form lesser mole and to reduce the pressure which means when we increase the pressure high pressure so equilibrium will shift to right okay and form more n2o4 so percentage of N2O4 will increase. Okay, about temperature. Temperature, then we need to uh, refer to the uh, enthalpies that uh, involve. Enthalpy, again, is exothermic. Okay, it's telling you that when it's a forward reaction, it's released energy. Of course, the reverse reaction or backwards reaction, it will absorb the energy. So if let's say we want the equilibrium to shift to right, so means we need to let it to release energy. So how to let it release energy? By using a lower temperature. When we lower the temperature, the equilibrium try to increase the temperature by moving or shift from left to right Okay, then energy will be released. Okay, therefore, the two conditions that will give greatest percentage of N2O4 at equilibrium will be high pressure and low temperature. So answer is B. That's all. Thank you.